All right. Now, there's a very big difference between a CAD program and a paint program. Okay, are you familiar with the different... Uh, okay, well, let me just go into a description about the, uh, the differences between a paint program and a, uh, a, a vector program or a CAD program as TurboCAD is. Uh, when you actually draw a line, I'm going to bring up um, a, a program called Paint or Windows Paint. And, all right, so this is a paint program uh, that comes with Windows. It's called Windows Paint. And now when you're drawing a line in this program, you click and you drag and it draws it. And then when you zoom in, though, and you can zoom in, you can see that the line is made up of these tiny little dots, okay? And the more you zoom in, the bigger the dots get, okay? And any, draw, any line that I draw in this view, you can see how dotted that is and how it's because a paint program is just a, an array of dots. It's so many dots in this direction and so many dots in that direction. Now when you zoomed out, if I hold the you see uh, our, in this view it looks like a line, right? Mm -hmm. But the moment you zoom in you can see that it's got these little dots. And that's because uh, that's not stored as a line. It's stored as that dot is black and the ne one next to it is white. Now, in TurboCAD, you have something very different. I'm going to switch to back to TurboCAD. In TurboCAD, the line is not stored as dots. It's stored as a starting point and an ending point. And I'm, so now when I zoom in, I'm going to roll my wheel mouse forward. I'm going to zoom in. You can see, no matter how much I zoom in, it uses the available dots to represent the line. Uh, the, the dots do not define the line. they just used to represent the line on the screen. And any line that I select, that uh, I've drawn, so I select that line. Right now I'm in a 3D selector. I'm going to toggle to the 2D selector. And now we can see we're in a 2D selector. Anyway, so now when I select a line like this and we look in the selection info palette, there's this thing called metrics. And you can see that the line starts at a specific x, y value and it ends at a specific x, y value. All right. Now that's very important because with these lines, that, that is how the, the line is stored in TurboCAD and you and and it's going to be up to you when you're creating lines to actually give it this information. Now, when you look at the line tool, you see it's got a little blue node over there mm -hmm. and a little blue node over there. That tells you what information that tool is going to need to get input. So if I choose the line tool, you see down here at the very bottom it's saying define the starting point of the line. So I can click anywhere on the screen, and now it says to find the ending point of the line. So I can go and click somewhere else on the ending point of the line. Now watch as I'm moving around. See how those X and Y values change? Yep. Okay. So I can simply click anywhere. Now when I select the line, you see that it starts at that point there, and it ends at that point there. Now I can go and change these values if I want to. So let's um, cut, click in here and say I want to start it at x is 0 and y is 0. And then you see now the starting point, if I zoom out a little bit, has been moved so that this matches up with the 0 on the ruler there, you see? 0 and 0 over there. Now let's look at the ending point of the line. The ending point of the line is somewhere near x is 6. You see x is 6.39 and the y is 6. So if I can come in there and actually change that. So I'm going to change that to be, let's say, 8. And um, the y value, I'm going to change that to be 5. And hit enter. Now you see the ending point of the line is at where x is 8 on the ruler and where 5 is, y is 5. So I can go and change those values once I've actually created it. Now in a paint program that wouldn't be possible. Okay, you don't, uh, you, 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 once you've drawn it and it becomes part of the background, you can't simply go and change the line like you can in TurboCAD, okay? 
Okay. All right. So now, um, uh, so, that, so, so there's several different ways of actually drawing lines. But uh, we'll get back to that now. The next thing I want to show you now is the selection option here. This is a very, very important tool on the top left over here. It's the, called the selection tool. And it's also available in the right-clicking. Um, so in the right-click uh, menu, you can see okay. it's available over there. So, yeah. you, so, so this is the selection tool. Now, the selection tool... Um, as I said, is available via the right-click local menu, and you can click that, and then you can simply click a, a line, and it gets selected. Now, you know it's selected because of this bounding box around it, okay? Now, you saw me toggle to 2D, 3D, so when I right-click, there's this option to toggle 2D, 3D. That, that mode there, where you've got three of these little handles coming out, that's called the 3D selector. And if I right-click and go to an isometric view, you can see the handle's got three handles coming out. There's an X handle, there's a Z handle, and a Y handle coming out of there. And if I right-click and choose the front to the world plan, you can only see the X and the Y coming out of it because the Z is going straight into the page. But okay. usually, at the, for a beginner, you're going to want to work in 2D mode only. So the toggle 2D, 3D, and you see now I've only got one handle coming out of there. That's, okay. called, that's called the 2D selector. Now the 2D selector has got that characteristic where it has this handle. It has this little yellow reference point there, which we'll discuss in more detail later. It has a rotation handle here, so I can click that and rotate the object if I want to. Um, and it has these little, uh, it has this bounding box. And each one of these blue handles, you can click them and, and move it to resize the object. And you can see how it's changing the scaling factor down here. Now, this is something I want you to be very aware of, um, is that when you've got an object selected, its information is displayed down here at the bottom. As my, there's, that's not all the information that is, uh, that is available to be seen. If you click this option here called Selective 2D Properties, you can see, well, the, the, it is displaying all of that information here. Often when you're in the 3D selector, you see all of these options are checked. Sometimes um, those options are not checked and you don't get to see them down here and you need to turn them back on. But for now, we can see all of these options here. Now, scaling, uh, 